Welcome to the ultimate comparison between two of the best snipers in Call of Duty Warzone. Feared by many. Deadly monsters in the right hands and oh so satisfying if you hit your headshots. Welcome to the HDR and the AX50 in Warzone. I know what you're thinking. The AX is the best sniper rifle, right? But how sure are you? Have you noticed something about the HDR? Something that makes it slightly different? A little bit easier to use maybe? Why is that? Well, today we're going to find out. I will break down everything there is to know about these two weapons, compare stats, check out the effect of the right barrels, and I will show you the best loadout so that we can finally figure out which weapon will give you higher chances of getting that sweet victory in Warzone. Hadir Sniper Rifle was the weapon that Alex used in the single player mission of the Highway of Death. In Warzone it uses 12.7x108mm 108 bullets. Just for info, the HDR has new updated stats, that is why these will supersede the stats that you will see in the designated HDR video. Competing against the HDR is the AX50. It is the latest version of the AW50, developed by the British firearms manufacturer Accuracy International. In Warzone, both of these weapons have a magazine size of 5 bullets, which can be improved with the 7 or 9 round magazines. This is one of the very few things that they have in common. From here on out, things become a little bit different. I will always mention the AX stats first and then I will mention the stats for the HDR. So, with the AX you can ADS in 0.6 seconds, but you can already quick scope from 342 milliseconds. The HDR is slightly faster and it can ADS in 590 milliseconds, but you can already quick scope from 300 milliseconds. In terms of rate of fire, the AX has the upper hand with 40 rounds per minute versus only 31.5. We both know that these weapons deal an incredible amount of damage, especially if we go for headshots. One shot, one kill, because they both deal 250 damage points. The great thing about these sniper rifles is the fact that this won't change, regardless of the range. So if you hit your opponent in the head, he will go down, even if he's running around on the other side of the map. Chest shots are a little bit different. In that case, you will cause 112 damage points. If you shoot your opponent in his stomach, you will cause 102 damage points. And shots to his arms or legs cause exactly 91 damage. This is valid for both of these weapons, so the AX and the HDR deal the exact same amount of damage. Both of these weapons have a damage drop of point where they will lose anywhere between 2 and 4 points of damage. For the AX this starts at 75 meters and for the HDR after 100 meters. These damage drop of points do not affect headshot damage, which stays exactly at 250 damage points. There are ways to extend your damage drop of points, but more on that later when we check out the best loadouts. One bullet is all it takes to kill with a headshot, but for all other shots you will need 3 bullets to kill. This is valid for the AX, but also for the HDR. What is different is the time to kill. If you shoot your opponent in the chest with 3 shots, then it's going to take you exactly 3 seconds to do so. If you're using the HDR instead, then you will need 3.810 seconds. The difference is caused by the slower rate of fire of 31.5 rounds per minute. This is the HDR's weakest spot, but it immediately compensates for that with its strongest side, its muzzle velocity. The AX has a muzzle velocity of 928 meters per second and the HDR has a muzzle velocity of 887 meters per second. But wait a minute, didn't you just say it's its strongest side? But the stats are lower. Yes, indeed. The standard barrel has a slower muzzle velocity. But if you look at the best barrels for both of these weapons, then the AX has a muzzle velocity of 1091 meters per second, thanks to the 32 inch factory. And the HDR easily beats that, with the 26.9 inch HDR Pro, which has a muzzle velocity of 1268 meters per second. So yes, in case you didn't know, this is how you can improve your muzzle velocity, by using the best barrels. I will show you the other stats with this overlay, so that you know exactly what these barrels do. At some point, you're going to have to reload your weapon. The AX is going to need 4.145 seconds versus 4.4. You can reduce the time it takes to do that with sleight of hand. This brings back the reload time to 3.134 seconds versus 3.2 seconds for the HDR. So yes, there is a difference, but this difference becomes smaller if you're using sleight of hand. You just saw all the stats, so you know what both of these weapons can do. Let's go over their best loadouts, since we've already touched the subject of the barrels. There is only one decent option for the AX, and that is the 32 inch factory barrel. The same goes for the HDR, and you should go with the 26.9 inch HDR Pro. These barrels do the same thing, but one barrel does it slightly better than the other. 
They both improve the bullet velocity, the damage range and the recoil control, but your ADS time and your movement speed will suffer because of this. What it doesn't tell you is by how much, but that is what I showed you before, because now you have a muzzle velocity of 1091 meters per second versus 1268 meters per second. Which means that the 26.9 inch HDR Pro does a much better job for the HDR, bringing its slower standard muzzle velocity up to become the best muzzle velocity thanks to the right barrel. There is one thing that you should avoid at all cost. And that is using the worst barrels, because these will slow down the muzzle velocity. So, avoid the 17 inch factory and the 26 bull barrels. The best barrels improve the damage drop off point from 75 to 90 meters for the AX and from 100 to 125 for the HDR. Being able to extend your damage drop off point is incredibly important for the assault rifles. But for the sniper rifles like the AX and the HDR, where the damage difference is only 2 points, without any change to the bullets needed to kill, it does not matter that much. What matters most is the higher muzzle velocity. As you know, these barrels come with a few downsides as well. One of them is the slower ADS time. The negative effect of using this attachment is an increase to the ADS time of 49 milliseconds versus 32 milliseconds for the HDR. The monolithic suppressor is the best muzzle available in Warzone because it allows you to extend the damage range even further and it suppresses your shots at the same time. But all of this comes at a cost. Your ADS time will suffer and your aim walking steadiness will be reduced. This is valid for both weapons. The sights and scopes are a personal preference. My favorite is the thermal sniper scope because of the 8x magnification which hits a nice sweet spot for me. In my previous video about the HDR, I told you everything you need to know about the sights and scopes in Warzone. If you haven't watched that already, then make sure to do so after this video. You can reduce your weapon's weight to a minimum by using the right stock. This means using the Syngard Arms Marksman for the AX and the Flak Champion for the HDR. The latter also improves your aim walk steadiness. The Syngard Arms Marksman doesn't do that. The main reason why they reduce weapon sway is because of the positive effect on aiming stability. This means that the speed of your sway will slow down and the radius of the sway will be reduced as well. There is one more thing that you can do to eliminate your weapon sway altogether. I don't do this myself, but it's something you have to know. You can hold your breath and while doing so, you can eliminate the weapon sway for a duration of 4.5 seconds. If you use presence of mind, you can improve that number to 1 minute and 2 seconds. The reason why I don't personally use it is because it slows me down. I don't quick scope, but I also don't stare through my scope for long periods of time. I will always pop out from cover, take my shot and then I will protect myself again by taking cover. That way, my enemy is going to have a very hard time trying to hit me. Imagine yourself running around in Warzone with the AX or the HDR and suddenly you have to down and kill 4 guys. This means that you will need at least 2 bullets per person and that is if you don't miss your headshots. So you'll need 8 bullets, but keep in mind that you might miss a few of your shots. In this case, it makes more sense to go for the 9 round magazines, because the only time that you can eliminate this team faster with the standard 5 round magazine and with sleight of hand is when you need exactly 10 bullets. If you need 9 or 11, then you will always be faster with the 9 round magazines. Same goes for other amounts of bullets. I explained the full calculation in the HDR video, which you should definitely watch after this video. I've shown you the weapon stats, compared time to kills and even went through the best loadout possible for the AX and the HDR. But the question still remains, which one is the best sniper in Call of Duty Warzone? In terms of time to kill, the AX-50 still comes out on top. Even if you go for headshots, you will still be able to down and kill an entire enemy team faster with the AX than with the HDR. However, the HDR is much easier to use because of its much higher muzzle velocity. This also means that you will have less bullet drop, making it easier to go for those long range kills. So you will have to ask yourself, do you struggle with your long range headshots and you require something that is more user friendly? Then go for the HDR. If you're the king of bullet drop, then the AX is more suited for you and then you can benefit from the faster time to kill. In the next video I will focus on the Kar 98k, because I've seen so many comments where guys were asking if this is a one shot kill weapon or not. So if you want to finally know for sure, then subscribe to Fog of Gaming and make sure that you won't miss that video. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in Warzone. <laughs>